Well, hello, my YouTube friends. We just got to Corcoran. We barely beat the train or whatever work is taking place over here. So when you get off Corcoran, you see that big sign. You've seen it in other videos. We're going to go up a ways here. We're going to go straight up here to Derry, turn left, and uh, see how far we can go till we hit water. Okay, so stand by. All right, my friends, we made it to Derry and Quebec. Uh, we're going to keep going straight here. If we turn left, we'll head over toward the prison. Let's see what this guy's going to do. Okay, <laughs> he's waiting for us. So here we go, road closed. You've seen that before. Okay, I'll get back with you when we see how far we can go. All right, my friends, the water is a lot higher because there's that, you can, let me zoom in. Okay, there's the ditch bank. And then there's that bridge. In the one video, you can see the, uh, the trucks on the ditch bank. Now turning this way, let's go back down. Sorry about the wind. Okay, so no, here's the here's the landmark again, the six silos. We cannot even come close to approaching. Let me zoom in. So it's more underwater. The road's gonna end just about 30 yards ahead of me. Off in the distance, there's that shed with a little palm tree next to it that's so popular in all the videos. Nothing but water. All right, maybe a little bit less windy here. I'm on the other side of the car. But we could barely pass that bridge. So the water level is rising, it has risen. close to it. Hold on, let me walk up a ways. Well, we spotted a tadpole. Let me see if we can zoom in on it. Haven't seen any goldfish yet. See, the water's still moving. There he is. Whoop. There he goes. Our first wildlife beside the birds. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah, we brought the boys out. The fur babies. So this is as close as I can get to Hanson Ranches. Full magnification for my little iPhone SE. up on the road. I'm standing right on the yellow line. It goes underwater about 10 feet ahead of me. The crown of the road prevents that debris from washing over it. Like I said earlier, we were well past this ranch. We had to like drive way past it. The water is rising considerably. I will say this is the first time I ever saw tire tractors just floating in the water. Or tractor tires, rather. So, lots of damage. There's more tractor tires over there. Those look like dualies. Let me get closer and try to zoom in. end of the I'm in water standing on the water you can kind of see the second tire underneath it how they got stacked I don't know
If you go to my landmarks video and see the satellite view, I am well north of Hanson Ranches Equipment Company. The six silos that are so popular. There's their house. There's that shed. Alright, hold on a minute. Come here! Come on! Come here! It's a good boy. It's a good boy. Ah, good boy. So this bridge, it's in the Landmarks video, satellite view. Here's those aquatic plants. They just look green, but you can see the water's moving. Kind of, sort of. But the water does go all the way over there into the corner. Now this, I don't know what they're building. But I can see one, two, three earth movers down there, four, I guess it won't be long before they cover up the road right here, five, six, seven, a water buffalo, eight, There's those silos. I'm standing on the bridge. And the road ends shortly before it, or shortly after it. So I moved to the other side of the bridge. You get a closer look at these earth movers. I'm not sure where they're going. I'm at full zoom. But that was three in a row that just turned into the orchard. You might be able to hear that ginormous bulldozer. There's a greater or something a little bit farther on, or another ginormous bulldozer. So I don't know where they're going. They were on top of this berm. Look, here they come. I guess they're building a levee. All right, hold on. All right, you guys will believe me if I tell you that that shiny spot, if you follow the yellow line, there's a reflection of the sun. There's a car stuck. It appears to be right in front of that house. I'm going to try to get a better view using these binoculars. again through the binoculars uh, you'll see the telephone poles where the trees are there's a car stuck in the water and beyond that a train or a train engine so through the binoculars Oh, there's a bird. There's the train. And yes, that's a car. And though I believe those are tractor tires that haven't washed over the road yet. 
all the telephone poles. There's the house. Well, today is Monday, May 8th. I'm pretty sure I'll use this as the thumbnail. Levy work continues. All right, we're going to look at the space again on the Google Maps with the satellite view. There's Corcoran. There's 6th Avenue, which is Derry. There's the prison. And this is what we're interested in right here. The Thule River Viaduct. Let's see if I can expand it. Okay, right here. Expand it. Okay, this space right here. I'll raise it up some. Okay, the, the bridge is right here. And the thumbnail is parked like right here looking west with water on either side. And this it's a ditch bank, whatever. It's a little bit raised. So that big berm, the big uh, levee that they're building runs along right here. It's north of the bridge, just north of the bridge. Let me expand. Okay, so right there's the bridge. There's the aquatic plants that we were looking at. Okay, the previous time I was down here, now you'll see right here, uh, Hanson's farm equipment, there's those silos. And going a little bit farther, okay, right here at Quail, let me expand. At Quail, there's a, there's a valve, like a big valve and stuff. There's a couple palm trees, and there's a round, you can barely see it right there. There's a round tank. I didn't know what it was, if, but it's in my other videos. Okay, you can see it right there. So there's that tank. Below this, or slightly past it as you're driving, here's that house. Okay, here's the uh, ever so popular shed with palm tree. Okay, but now back to where I was standing. So I was able to drive past the equipment company, the Hanson's Farm Equipment, in my previous videos. Okay, along the road right here, able to drive past it almost all the way down to Quail Avenue and that valve and that tank and those palm trees so i was in we would park around this area where the water covered up the road right here today when i was there i had to not pass i barely was able to pass the bridge okay so let me zoom back out all right instead of being passed here i was just the water was like right here Barely able to drive past it before stopping. So that's how much the water has risen. Maybe only three or four feet total. But it's very shallow land right there. Okay, so here's... Right. Okay, there's that valve and that tank. I was first stopping right there in my previous videos. Now I'm stopping all the way up here. Okay, so let's have the verse of the day. And for that, we're going to go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 17. When the poor and needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongue faileth for thirst, I, the Lord, will hear them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. 
I will open rivers and high places and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. All right, my friends, you have a good day.